today I'm going to introduce how to play simulator with Radio Link T610D and T12D transmitter. Take T610D as an example. We need a T610D, a dongle, a cable, and a computer. First, set the parameters on T610D. Now press the button to enter main menu. General settings. Reverse. And we need to send the throttle channel, channel 3, to reverse and enter advanced settings. Type. We're going to fly drones in the simulator, so we need to select multi rotor and enter transmitter settings. Trainer. You can assign switch control function, and I don't need a switch, so I keep it now and set the state to on and set the mode to student mode. And return to server this and you don't need to set any trim value for each channel. And please make sure there is no problem with server display. If there is something wrong with the server display, please calibrate the joysticks of the transmitter before playing the simulator. And second, use a dongle to connect T16D to the computer. And we need a dongle and a cable to connect T16D to the computer. Here it is. And this dongle comes with some cables. And this is the cable we need. Connect the cable to the dongle. And pay attention, there are some marks. We need to adjust the button here to the appropriate position so the transmitter can be recognized. And we can push the button to the position 1, FPV drone and then plug the end of the cable to the simulator port of T16D. Here it is. And plug the dongle to the computer. And the collection is done. Third, play simulator. The user methods are similar for all simulated software. We use OnCrest simulator as an example. It has already been installed on my computer. You can download it online, and I have already opened it. Then click Options and Controls, and then move the stick. You can see there is the movement of the bus, which means the transmitter has been recognized. Then we need to calibrate the transmitter. The stick mode of this T16D is Stick 1, with throttle on the right stick, so we need to select Mode 1 here, and I'll calibrate each stick one by one. Click Auto, Roll, Pitch, Roll, and move the stick. You can see there is some problem with the throttle point here, so we need to click Stick Calibration here, and calibrate the stick. Move all the sticks to the limits. Put the stick in the center and press OK. Now move the sticks. You can see the movements of the sticks match the points here, so which means the calibration is done. By the way, the reset key is R, which means we can use the R button to restore the plane when there is a crash. And the button A is used to switch the flight mode. And back. Single player, we can play it. You can choose the scene you like, for example, Arctic Ocean. And wait for the loading. Lower the throttle to the lowest position to arm the drone. And then you can push the throttle to fly it. And by the way, during our flight, you can press button A to switch the flight modes. It is iCrew. And, and 3D. And when there is a crash, you can also press the button R to restore the plane to the original position. So that's all about how to play simulator with T16D or T12D. Mm -hmm.